So if you cannot find the reason that the individual has dry eyes, or you cannot stop the medication that the individual is taking that is causing their dry eyes, then the way that you can treat the dry eyes is by replacing the lost lubrication of the eyeball. Um, so by giving lubricating eye drops. And there are loads of different types of lubricating eye drops. They all do effectively the same thing. The ones that I always prescribe which are extremely effective are hypromellose eye drops. Now, these are not a prescription-only medicine by any means at, at all. They are an easily available over-the-counter medicine. You don't, in the UK, certainly, you don't even need to go to a pharmacy to buy them. You can buy them in supermarket shelves. So if you go to a supermarket, you go to the section where eye drops are sold and you look at the eye drops that are lubricating eye drops for sore, irritated eyes and you actually look at what ingredients they contain, you will find that they contain hypromellose and that is the main active ingredient. However, if in hospital a patient is suffering with bad dry eyes and wants something for it, we do prescribe them lubricating eye drops and the ones that I always prescribe are hypromellose and as I say they're extremely effective but be aware that there are a whole bunch of other ones out there branded unbranded loads of different ingredients that are similar to hypromellose such as carmellos um, and loads of other ones as well uh, but they all do essentially the same thing which is they replace the lost lubrication on the eyes the final thing I would just like to say about dry eyes is that currently this is a much bigger problem than normal because of the current global pandemic. So at the moment, the coronavirus uh, has spread the whole world over and has brought the world to heel. And because of it, many governments are now insisting that um, people wear face coverings, masks, uh, either cloth masks or proper surgical masks. Now, Often these masks are not completely tight on the face. The really tight masks that form a proper seal around the face, uh, those are one, very expensive, and two, not pleasant to wear at all. And people usually only manage a few hours wearing one of those. So most people are wearing masks that are not tightly, for, you know, tightly sealed on the face. They're wearing ones that actually go over their nose and then spread over their cheeks and then there is often a gap in between their cheeks and the upper part of the mask. And this is a massive problem for the eyes because when you breathe in and out, the air is going to take the path of least resistance and that is that gap that is between your cheek and the upper portion of the mask. So that means that all the air is going to be sucked in and pushed out in that area right over where the eye is. So you're going to be getting a lot of airflow over the eyeballs that would not normally be going like that because of wearing these masks. And that airflow is extremely drying for the eyes. So actually dry eyes has become a much bigger problem because we are all wearing these masks that are not a tight fit to the skin uh, and which have gaps and one of the major places where the gaps are is right underneath the eyeballs and therefore air is going to be moving through that gap right over the surface of the eyes and drying the eyes out because it will be carrying moisture off the surface of the eyes. Uh, so a lot of people are currently suffering from dry eyes that is related to the wearing of the masks. They're probably also got another reason to be getting dry eyes as well. So it might be the case that these individuals are on a medication that dries the eyes out, but previously it wasn't drying the eyes out enough to be causing them a problem, to be making their eyes itchy and sore. But now with the addition of the mask, it's toppled. It's meant that the cumulative effect of the drying effect of the mask and the drying effect of the medication is now drying the eyes out enough that it's actually causing them a problem. So I'll leave it there. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you've learned something.